Uh, hi guys, uh, today in this video uh, we'll discuss the concept of uh, moving ion instruments. So this is a new topic that we are going to discuss today. So let's look at uh, how this instrument works and uh, how is the moving ion instrument. So the name itself suggests that uh, the moving part in this instrument is going to be an uh, iron piece, right? So the iron piece is the going to be the moving part uh, in this instrument and uh, we'll be looking at how this can be implemented, what is the working principle behind this. So basically uh, what we have is a, a, a current carrying coil, uh, let's say this is basic the, this is the basic principle once we discuss the basic principle what we'll do is that we'll look at uh, what is the uh, actual practical implementation how it is implemented practically so let's say you have a some kind of core and you have a core and a winding that is on the score you have a let's say you have a, a coil that is attached there is a coil that is coming up to this core and let's say this is the direction of the current i Uh, and let's say, yeah. And what happens is that uh, a magnetic field will be produced because of this uh, current I. And uh, let's say when this current is flowing in this direction. Uh, if we look from this point uh, from here when you look at look at the coil the direction of the current is uh, anti-clockwise right so anti-clockwise means uh, which pole the pole that will form is basically north pole so the magnetic flux lines will be outwards uh, and inwards at this point right now if you place a uh, iron uh, met, uh, metal ion they have a metal or a iron which is magnetic which has magnetic properties so what happens is that when current passes through this coil it will have a attraction it will get attracted towards this coil so basically this is how the deflecting torque or the attraction there are two types of uh, moving ion instruments there is one is known as the uh, attraction type the attraction type and the second one is called as your repulsion type moving ion instrument so in this uh, setup what we have is a attraction type moving uh, iron uh, instrument so the iron gets attracted so uh, the coil is fixed this is a fixed coil and the iron is a is on a movable frame Now when you look at the practical uh, images of the uh, of this instrument you will get a clear idea how this uh, functions so basically uh, in any instrument depending upon the value of the current or the voltage that you're measuring you will have to uh, you will be required to uh, generate a deflection or a movement inside the instrument which will be in turn connected to your pointer and will be displayed on the scale I mean, uh, uh, when the moment happens on the uh, iron, or you can say movable iron, 
uh, is connected to the frame and then when this moves uh, the corresponding deflection uh, can be generated by using uh, this movement on the pointer so we'll be looking at how this this is practically implemented uh, and then now this is one type now let's look at what is the repulsion type instrument so uh, the repulsion in the repulsion type instrument uh, very the arrangements are uh, quite different when it comes to practical uh, applications but uh, the concept is uh, very in uh, conceptually these are going to be very uh, simple designs so again you have a, a core and then you have a coil let's say and you have a current let's take any direction for the current it doesn't matter whatever is the direction of the current uh, whenever there is a current the ion is going to get uh, attracted towards the coil even if it is in the uh, north south direction or if it is in the reverse direction also for reverse direction also uh, the ion will get attracted towards the coil because uh, ion is not a magnet it gets magnetized with the flux so um, when if if it is a north pole that is forming over here then this will get magnetized to south and this will get magnetized to north and it gets attracted towards the north pole that is how a mag uh, the ion works so here again uh, since um, in the repulsion type this is the attraction type because the ion is getting attracted attraction type instrument and this is our repulsion type instrument now in the repulsion type instrument uh, we'll be fixing two ion plates so you have one ion plate we'll have uh, one ion plate like this and then we'll have uh, one more ion plate so that will be the uh, that will be the setup that we'll have uh, yeah so consider them as uh, two uh, rectangular plates uh, I know the image and the drawing is very poor but yeah you can consider them as two rectangular plates and one of them will be fixed fixed in the sense it, it cannot move so what happens is that uh, the, you will have a fixed iron and the next one can be moved movable iron so when uh, the current starts flowing through this uh, coil what happens is that uh, let's say if you take this direction or let's say let's take the reverse direction maybe uh, in this case let's take the reverse direction uh, then what happens is that so the current uh, sorry so the current is in uh, this direction let's say right so when we look from this side uh, the current is in clockwise direction right so uh, the pole that will be formed on this direction and in this direction of flow of current here you will get a south pole and then here you will get a north pole so what happens is that uh, these magnets will be magnet and these uh, ions uh, will be magnetized and uh, this end of the magnet this end of the magnet will form as a north pole and this end will form as a south pole similar will be the case for the movable ion as well so this will form as a north pole and this will form as a south pole now what happens is that this uh, movable ion 
is on a frame uh, which can which can move in this in these directions it can move upward and downward so since both of them are north and south in the same directions uh, the fixed iron will have a repulsion towards this movable iron or uh, you can say these two magnet these two iron plates will repel each other and therefore the movable iron will move in opposite direction or it will repel with the iron piece uh, which is fixed and it will move in the opposite direction and this is the this is how the deflecting uh, forces are generated uh, you can call it a force or a torque depending upon uh, the direction of the motion generally we have a rotatory motion and therefore uh, we call it a torque uh, a rotatory motion or a motion uh, through a through an arc and therefore we call this a uh, deflecting torque so if it was a lateral motion uh, or a linear motion then we we could have called it as a force uh, so uh, for moving iron instruments for both these cases uh, the deflecting torque so uh, even though this is the concept and we are looking at a lateral motion when it comes to uh, practical implementation basically these uh, all these uh, iron plates will be moving in a uh, rotatory motion or through an arc and therefore uh, we'll be looking at the torque deflecting torques so the deflecting torque for both these instruments is given by because uh, the instrument the torque will be dependent upon the current uh, the current uh, that is passing through the uh, coil as well as uh, this current is also responsible for the magnetization of the core of the uh, iron therefore basically what happens is that the deflection deflecting torque will be uh, a quantity that is a square of the current and the equation there's a very simple derivation which is there in the textbook so you can look at the derivation so it is given by half into i square dl by d theta now i is the current l is the inductance inductance of the instrument so, so the inductance is due to the coil so basically it is the self inductance of the coil inductance of the instrument okay so with respect to theta theta is the deflection uh, deflection uh, what is the change in the inductance that is dl by d theta so let's let's look at the practical implementations uh, of these two instruments uh, so uh, i've kept two images over here and let's look at the images so here uh, the first one here uh, is the uh, repulsion type ac meter so this is the moving iron type instrument uh, where the where we have the repulsion type instrument and uh, you can see uh, this is our coil right the coil uh, the uh, in the core of the coil itself we are placing the uh, the fixed uh, vein and the moving vein or the fixed iron and the moving iron so what happens is that uh, when current starts passing through this coil these two magnets will get uh, these two iron plates will get magnetized right this is uh, one iron and this is the this is the fixed iron uh, which means that it cannot move and this one is our uh, moving iron right and this will have the same magnetization because the current uh, the coil will start uh, the coil will magnetize uh, the core of this uh, electromagnet so basically this is an electromagnet because you have a coil and you have an air core inside the air core there are two pieces of iron plates and uh, this is uh, here one of the plate is fixed and the other one is movable and both of these plates will have the magnetization let's say the current uh, same magnetization same direction of magnetization either you have north and north in this in these two points uh, and if uh, you have north and north in these two points you will have south and south at the bottom uh, similarly if you have uh, similarly if the direction of the 
current is changed what happens is that you will have south and south in the top and then north and north in the bottom in uh, either direction in either direction of current uh, both these uh, iron plates will have the same type of magnetization and they are going to repel each other and there will be a uh, motion for the fixed vein sorry for the moving moving uh, iron or the movable vein uh, in this direction right and the pointer will also be connected the pointer will also be connected to this instrument and this will be kept on a pivot uh, pivot in the sense uh, it was just free to rotate so you will have a pivot setup on which this will be kept uh, with a pointing end so this will be able to move on this pivot very freely and uh, with least friction and the pointer will be connect uh, pointer will be connected to this uh, this rod or this uh, iron plate which is connected to the mo uh, the moving iron plate and therefore when the uh, moving iron uh, starts moving in a different direction i mean uh, due to the repulsion from the fixed uh, iron uh, rep repulsion between basically so and the uh, the pointer will also move along with it and you will get the corresponding deflection now this is how the repulsion type instrument will work so this is the practical implementation a repulsion type instrument the concept is uh, concept i think we have already discussed uh, so we don't have to uh, look at it it's very simple there's nothing much to it uh, as very simple concepts and then now let's look at uh, the uh, the attraction type instrument uh, so here we have a, a controlling spring which gives the controlling torque uh, and you will finally end up with a equation uh, tc is equal to k theta which is equal to the deflecting torque which is half i squared dl by d theta and then theta is given by 1 by 2k uh, or i squared by 2k into dl by d theta so this will be our final equation let me write it a bit more clearly theta is equal to i squared by 2k into dl by d theta right basically what we get is that uh, the theta is proportional to i square uh, also uh, the deflecting torque is also proportional to the square of the current so the if we look at what is the average uh, deflecting torque so this can be used for uh, ac measurements as well because uh, even if the current uh, direction changes uh, there is no problem with the magnetization of the iron uh, and uh, still the current the iron is going to get repelled uh, and therefore uh, you don't have any issues uh, for using it for ac measurements also so this instrument can be used for both dc as well as for ac measurements and therefore uh, mainly we use it for uh, ac measurements so if uh, you take what is the average deflecting torque this is basically uh, will be proportional to the uh, average of the current uh, average of the i square which uh, average across the time period so if you average this i square across the time period you will get that that td is proportional to i square rms because uh, it is the uh, square of the rms value because we are averaging it uh, across the time the square values of i uh, across the time and therefore you will get the rms value root mean square value uh, with respect to time so that is uh, we will get uh, rms value and therefore this can be used for uh, measurements of ac current now we look at what is this uh, how is this uh, how is the working of attraction type instrument so this is our attraction type instrument 
Now, uh, in an attraction type instrument, uh, you can see the pointer is connected to a, uh, there is a moving iron. So this, this oval shaped uh, iron, this is our moving iron. The oval shaped uh, piece of iron plate is basically our moving iron. Uh, now here on both these points uh, here as well as here you have the coil current carrying coil the current carrying coil and this will create a magnetic flux uh, the current carrying coil is going to create a magnetic flux inside uh, this region and uh, this region uh, since the magnetic flux intensity is very high in this region uh, it will attract this iron plate which is movable to the interiors of this uh, region because uh, the magnetic flux here uh, is passing through uh, through the air right now uh, it will uh, now le let's say uh, you have an electric current and if you connect a wire or let's say there's a potential difference and if you connect a wire uh, the current will have uh, will always pass through the uh, uh, material that is that has least resistance right now similarly uh, uh, iron plate iron plate has the uh, very low reluctance low reluctance in comparison to in comparison to air therefore what happens is that uh, the iron which is able to move will move inside to the interiors of this uh, part the, to the interior part and provide a low resist reluctance path to provide a low reluctance path for the magnetic flux lines for the magnetic flux lines uh, to pass through uh, it's very sim uh, it's very similar to uh, let's say you have a potential uh, a potential difference uh, and you're giving two options either this uh, current that is that can be generated using this potential difference to pass through a copper wire or through a insulator so let's say this is an insulator uh, and this is a uh, conductor what happens the current will pass through the conductor instead of the insulator similarly if there are two options that uh, whether the uh, flux to pass through the air or through a iron which is uh, magnetic and which provides low reluctance the conductor will provide a very low resistance and here uh, for the magnetic flux lines the iron moving iron will provide a very low reluctance and therefore what happens this uh, moving iron will move uh, in this direction uh, towards the interiors of this region to go to provide a very low reluctance path and what happens in turn what happens this uh, pointer will move towards uh, in the opposite direction because it's an attached arrangement so and thereby we'll get a deflection on the meter and you can see the controlling uh, torque is given by control weights so there is a balancing weight and a controlling weight so this is one way in which you can give the controlling torque or you can use a spring as well so in these type of instruments where the controlling torque is given using a weight uh, the position in which the the instrument is kept is very much important so because this is a gravity controlled uh, instrument 
uh, it should be kept upright always otherwise you will end up getting wrong measurements so that is the uh, one of the major uh, attribute or major thing that you need to keep in mind when you give a control uh, controlling torque using a control weight and then you have uh, air damping chamber uh, for damping uh, so we'll be looking at damping in detail so for reducing the oscillations so uh, you will always require a damper uh, so oscillations in the sense when the deflecting uh, when the uh, at the final value uh, this pointer will reach but it might oscillate uh, in this fashion you might have seen in instruments and these oscillations should uh, come come to a stop and then it should reach a final point so for that purpose we uh, generally use a damper so this is a air damping setup uh, we'll be looking at dampings uh, the various types of dampings air damping and uh, the other dampings like eddy current damping and all these things in detail so i think uh, with this uh, i hope uh, it is clear to all of uh, all of you guys um, uh, how is this how is the working of the uh, moving iron type instrument uh, the attraction type instrument as well as the repulsion type instrument uh, so i guess uh, we'll wind up with this right now and uh, guys if you have any doubts uh, you can uh, you can ask me directly and i'll try to address it in the class so okay then guys mm.